welcome to Podrov Log. In this video, I will tell you about uh, how to create audio and video calling app in Android Studio using Snitch SDK. So, let's start the video. In this video, I will. Uh, in this video, it has three parts. Part one is about I will show you the output demo and. Uh, the part uh, 2 is about to tell you the library that I use that is snitch SDK and uh, I will tell you why I use this library and what is the advantage of using that and in part 3 I will uh, share my source code and I will explain the working of the code okay so let's start the video so first of all, let's uh, show you the output demo. So show. So you have seen the output demo of my app of the calling video calling and audio calling app. So now let's uh, have let's come to the part second that is about uh, Snitch SDK. Snitch SDK is basically a library which is designed for video calling and audio calling between app to app. Okay. So you can use that for app to a local carrier phone. I mean that not app to app. You can use for app to phone. Okay. So <clears throat> with the help of this library, uh, I cannot. I, I do not have to write a thousand line of code. With the help of this library, I can do video calling function with the help of five line of codes. Okay. With the five line of course, I am able to create a, a video call function. Okay, so you can create a whole uh, video and audio call app with the mute function, with the volume function, and uh, you can just switch to uh, from audio to video and video to audio, and you can switch the camera. So you can all uh, you can uh, create implement all these functions uh, in 20 minutes with the help of snitch sdk so that's the reason it helps it help you to save your time your efforts so with this reason i have came to uh, this is the reason that i'm using snitch sdk okay you can create your own uh, library in programming world there is no restriction no bound you can create a solution with a thousand different ways okay so uh, my source code uh, I am using uh, I will share my source code you can use it and you can modify it okay with your own with your own desire for your own purpose so uh, I'm saying that there is no limitation in program you can change everything with uh, with your with your meaning with your purpose and uh, there is no bound okay so you can uh, create a solution for one thing with a thousand different ways so my way it does not mean that only this way will be possible so you can create uh, things with other possible way okay there are a lot of possibility in programming you uh, create possibility okay so this is the reason why i'm using snitch so now let's come to the how you can uh, use uh, SDK and how uh, you can create the audio and video calling app with the help of Snitch SDK. So let's come to that point. So when I come to that point, so you will see on the screen our website. You know, this I will paste the link in description and you can check it out. In this. Uh, in this description you will see that that how to install snitch sdk in android studio step 
2019 so it is basically step for 2019 and now is 2020 so okay so there are four steps simple steps quick steps very short time uh, steps which will help you to install the SDK for in your Android studio so in step number one you have to download some file so with the, this file is available in the snitch uh, website and you can download also from here just click on this red uh, uh, text and it will download a file for, uh, for you okay so you have to download i will recommend to download a latest version of snitch a double r file because snitch team are working on their service to improve their service and to remove bugs okay so that's why i will uh, tell you i will tell you to download the latest snitch a double r file okay when you download that file you have to put that file in the uh, lib directory of the android studio lib directory means the library directory okay where is the library directory located uh, in the android studio project you have to go to the android for example uh, it will show you like this so you have to click on this android and click on the project so this is the lib directory you have to paste uh, this file here okay okay so now uh, point one is done then you have to add this line in the gradle file what is gradle file a gradle file is basically a compiler in uh, android studio and the, uh, why you have to put this because it contains some configuration about which library you are using so you have to put this line which simply means that uh, that you have added some uh, file in the library directory of android studio and you want to use that library in your project so then you have to add this line in the gradle uh, file but there are two gradle files in, in your project one is for the app and uh, and the other is for the project so you will see here in this image let me explain it clearly Come on. so you can see that there are two files there are two files one is for project and other is for the uh, module so you have to click on the project and you have to paste that code here then step number three is done so now come to step number four you have to synchronize your project then it will automatically install the required file for their project okay so in this way you can download every single library every single third party library in the end of studio with these quick simple steps just paste the line the one line in the gradle file and it will download all the libraries so you have to you don't have to worry anything about that so this is good so now you have installed the snitch sdk in your project so you can use every single function in your project okay now let's come to the source code the part 3 in the part 3 as i mentioned that i have shared a source code with you so you can come to that website this website and you can download the source code from here and uh, i will explain the source code basically the logic of my project is that uh, there are three layers in the project that is the back end the, the bridge between the back end and the front end and the front and part three is the front okay the front end basically is responsible for the view that user is viewing seeing okay looking and the back end is basically holds all the uh, functionality it has uh, everything like database everything back end uh, in the back end there is a background services what is background services uh, background services is basically a set of tasks set of functions which is performed in background with no user interface with no user interface means that it is a background service okay background services don't have any user interface 
and still it performs some tasks and some functions that's why it is called background services okay so here is the code there are six classes number one is the snitch service so what is snitch service like basically I just put every single uh, detail of the uh, basically there is a logic of the audio and video call in this in this class and I just keep this thing as a background service because when your phone is off and when your phone is on it's, it will still working in the background okay so uh, it will be not dependent on the uh, app is on app is uh, is on the screen or is on then it will uh, run so it run independently uh, and in the background so when someone calls you so uh, this functionality will works will check and will work okay so this three line of uh, code is uh, empty app key app secret and uh, environment you can get these three information from the snitch website uh, I will uh, paste the link in description just click on the snitch website create account and after creating account they will provide you three details okay and I'm sorry I just not explain the advantage of the snitch so let me explain the advantage of the snitch in the snitch uh, services and the snitch uh, services they are providing you 2500 plus minute free which is good for testing and also you can use it per month it is the uh, estimation of the per month so per month they are providing you 2500 plus minutes plus minutes per month for a to a call only okay so that's why it is cheap and it is best in quality and it is easy to use so that's why it is the advantage of snitch and I using I am using it so uh, for this three information you have to get the information from the snitch website after creating the account okay so you have to add these three information without adding that it will not be working okay and the rest of the code is about how how the call will start what is client everything is mentioned here so uh, with stop call everything is mentioned there this code is for video call and audio call okay you simply I will recommend that you can just come to this website and read every single detail you will be everything will be solved to you okay and still if there is any problem so uh, you can tell me in the comment section I will clear that okay okay this is the, this is the snitch service class this is the base activity base activity is the basically bridge between backend front end okay so all the other is basically front end incoming voice call incoming video call so they all are using base activity they all are using base activity why why they are using base activity because base activity is the bridge between front end and back end and this incoming voice call is incoming video call video call audio call what are they they are front end when somebody calls you the incoming uh, voice call or video call will come on the screen okay and that will tell you that you want to accept a call or reject a call so it's up to you if you uh, if you accept a call so it will go to the voice call or video call okay and what about the main activity and main activity is also extended from base activity and it also implement this niche service okay so let me explain about main activity main activity is basically responsible for starting the snitch services okay so there is one problem in my app when your phone is shut down and matlab, I mean power off and you just own it again so you have to uh, again start business services it will not work you have to open this main activity in your app in your mobile when it's open so it will uh, start the snitch services in the background 
and then uh, if your phone is uh, only off not uh, power off only simple uh, off so then it will work it will work off the screen on the screen okay so i hope you will not understand some of things because it is little tricky for the new person for the starters but still you will get the idea what i am what i am what i want to say what what i try to say okay and still you don't get my point so just tell me in the comment section i will help you i will clear you uh, clear your misconception and uh, you can use my code from website thank you for watching the video and if you want to if you want uh, to make a video on some topic so you can tell me in the comment section so next time i will create a video on that topic so thank you for watching video and uh, uh, support my channel by subscribing my channel so see you in the next video Thank you.